Hey everyone, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ Stocks, Crypto Assets, and Interviews. Today's Wednesday, June 28th. Happy Hump Day, and I hope you're well. In this video, we've got an exciting one for you today. We're going to be discussing Ukraine and the possibility, are they on the verge of legalizing medical MJ? And we've also got a couple of other legalization articles that I want to share with you. Uh, super exciting. Before we get to it, though, make sure to smash the like, help support me in the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're new, you can subscribe, take the bell, you'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. Getting very close to that half a million view mark, as I've been mentioning, less than 2,000 views away so first and foremost thank you so much to the community i really do appreciate the support and uh, i love each and every single one of you because that definitely wasn't easy and like i said i've been uh, getting a ton of support from the community over the last few years and it definitely does not go unnoticed i very much appreciate it from the bottom of my heart but moving on so there's been a lot of articles lately with regards to legalization efforts not just in you know the us which everybody is looking at but across the the globe uh, and the newest one comes from ukraine and then there's also a Luxembourg article here that I want to share with you, uh, potential for Parliament uh, voting to legalize MJ there. And then also an article about California voters are on board with legalization. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. But again, we've seen no shortage of bullish article and MJ reform across the globe. It, it's exciting, but while being exciting, we're just not seeing that excitement translated in the share price. And I think that there's a reason for that, but it's more than likely going to be a little bit more rocky. I think we're going to see a little bit more short-term pain here in the summer, but leading into the fall, I think we could see some massive catalysts. And then the US, we could see a safe banking vote. We could see HHS come back, like I've done videos on this, saying that HHS expects a, a decision by the end of the year, and they'll be reclassifying MJ. So we'll, we should see it rescheduled or potentially descheduled, and then we could even see legalization of medical in the U.S. by year's end as well. So lots to be excited about, but here's the MJ uh, article, MJ Moment article from uh, today. This was published four hours ago. Ukraine's president says legalizing medical MJ can help people impacted by the trauma of war in Russia, and I would have to 100% agree. Uh, obviously, this is a tough time for a lot of their citizens, and this is definitely a step in the right direction and something that could definitely help with, uh, with, that, with that trauma. The president of Ukraine is calling for legalization of medical MJ to help Ukrainians cope with trauma amid the ongoing war with Russia. In an address to the Ukrainian parliament on Wednesday, President Vladimir Zelensky said that all the world's best practices, all the most effective policies, or all solutions, no matter how difficult or unusual they seem to us, must be applied in Ukraine so that Ukrainians and all our citizens do not have to endure pain, stress from the trauma of war according to the translation. In particular, we must fa finally fa fairly legalize MJ-based medicines for all those who need them and appropriate scientific research and controlled Ukrainian production, he said. We'll move through here a little bit quicker. The president stressed that providing access to medical MJ could provide a therapeutic option for citizens who have endured more than a year of intense conflict after Russia's first invaded the country in February 2022. Not only that, we know that C-19 and everything like that, uh, people, you know, being stuck in their homes and just a lot of stress from that as well and you know some of the impact that impact that it's had on their family members people have lost family members and things like that so there's been no shortage of trauma over the last couple of years during his presidential campaign Zelensky also voiced support for medical MJ legalization saying in 2019 that he feels it would be normal to allow people to access MJ droplets which is possibly a reference to MJ tinctures and you know this is just a step in the right direction right legalization of medical and then potentially maybe full-blown legalization you know full-blown legalization at the at the federal level for recreational right and we know we know um, germany's making strides to make that happen as well so again we're starting to see uh, even thailand is starting to uh, to embrace mj so we're starting to see this domino effect and in my opinion it's just a matter of time before we see reform across the globe really start to pick up steam but Zelensky's cabinet has taken steps to legalize medical MJ, approving draft reform legislation last year that must still be passed by the parliament. Minister of Healthcare Vic Victor Liashko said that the bill would permit the circulation of MJ plants for medical, industrial purposes, scientific and scientific technical activities to create conditions for expanding the access of patients to the necessary treatment of cancer and post-traumatic stress disorder resulting from war. And that's another thing too, right? Just not even just from war and C-19, just, you know, overall trauma from, you know, cancer patients and, and helping uh, cope with pain and things like that. So this is, this is a no-brainer in my opinion. And then I want to share with you, this is in a, a very interesting paragraph here. We understand that negative consequences of war on the state of mental health, he said. We understand the number of people who will need medical treatment as a result of this impact. And look at this. And we understand that there is no time to wait. So they, it does seem like time is of the essence here. 
which is great to see. The policy change would put Ukraine in stark contrast to its long-time aggressor Russia, which has taken which has taken a particular strong stance against reform in uh, in MJ policy at the international level through the United Nations. The country has condemned Canada for legalizing MJ nationwide. Well, as we know, uh, Russia is kind of in a world of its own, um, not to get political or anything like that. But uh, we know that, you know, China and Singapore, uh, Sing- Singapore still offering the de- death penalty. I'm pretty sure there was actually a guy that got caught trafficking, I think, like two pounds or something like that a few months ago, uh, several months ago, and actually got the death penalty. So you got to think about this for a second, right? Like we're we're so early in this in this industry that we're really not even halfway through the first inning yet, right? There's still some countries that are offering the, that are, that are, you know, condemning this and then that are enforcing the death penalty for just simple possession, right? And, you know, anything over like 30 grams, I think in Singapore can get you killed. So you got to think about that for a second, that there's so much, you know, growth from a, from a growth perspective, there's so much yet to be seen, right? And, you know, a lot of the the people in MJ investors are just getting investor fatigue. They're sick of seeing the prices go down. But the real the reality of it all is is that there's so much growth ahead of us. It's not even funny, and we're really, like I said, just in the early stages of this, and the medicine of the future being adopted, you know, globally. The deputy deputy of Russia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said last year that legalization efforts in the U.S. and Canada are matters of serious concern for us, according to a social media post for the. Office's official account. It is worrisome that several members of state in the European Union are considering violating their drug control obligations. But you know, well, we've seen you know these countries and and uh, and different agencies speak at both sides of their mouth, so to speak, because we know that uh, you know even China took a harsh stance against crypto. Now they're offering through Hong Kong Exchange, they're offering ETS for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then uh, the United, the Russia actually had a anti-crypto stance as well and now they're starting to embrace it with open arms so uh, again they talk at both sides of their mouths so i don't really listen to what they what they say i watch what they do and what i'm seeing a lot of people do around the globe right now is starting to embrace mj right Uh, the next uh, important commodity that's going to be uh, rising here to uh to starlight so in the u.s congressional lawmaker lawmakers are also stepping up pressure on biden administration to take steps to secure the release of american citizen mark fogel who is facing a 14-year sentence in russia prison over possession of medical mj that he obtained as a registered patient in pennsylvania and then he's serving that 14-year hard labor sentence and then we also know wnba player Brittany griner uh, who is also uh, serving time in prison over possession of mj oil uh, but uh, unlike Fogel, Greiner was designated by the State Department as wrongfully detained before being released as part of a prisoner swap that the Biden administration negotiated. And again, uh, we could see even more reform in the U.S., right? This is a possibility that we could see legalization of medical in the U.S. at some point for the year's end. We could see safe banking. We could see uplisting the NICE and the NASDAQ. We could see uh, rescheduling verdict from HHS into the end of the year where it could be potentially rescheduled or even descheduled. So, and I would more than likely expect it to be on the same level playing field as tobacco and alcohol. But as we know, those are poison and MJ actually has medical benefits and is the medicine of the future. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, it may even end up uh, with a more favorable outcome compared respectively. Zelensky's comments are legalizing on legalizing MJ medically also come on the same day that Luxembourg's parliament voted to legalize the possession and cultivation of MJ by adults, making it the second country in the European Union to end prohibition. So this is definitely exciting. Like I said, this MJ moment article, Luxembourg parliament votes to legalize MJ possession and cultivation, making it the second EU country to end prohibition. So I'm not going to go through this article in effort of time. If you want uh, to go through it, I'll drop the link to it in the comment section below and in the description, Uh, but also an MJ Moment article, California voters are more supportive than ever on MJ legalization and most want retailers in their communities poll fines. So again, things are really starting to ramp up here from a legalization effort across the globe, and it's definitely exciting, but again, we're just not seeing that translating into the share price yet, which is a little discouraging and a little, um, you know, uh, frustrating, and people are growing impatient, but you know, patience is rewarded. And right now is the time where we're going to see generational wealth made while people are accumulating these rock bottom, rock bottom prices like myself in, you know, three, five, 10 years from now, if we can find the companies that are going to stand the test of time that are going to be top 10, top five global players, right? Diversify, not just Canadian operators, but, you know, operators in the US, right? Producers and retailers and ETFs and things like that. If we can 
you know, diversify and position ourselves accor accordingly and find one, two, maybe even three unicorns that are going to be here in three to five, 10 plus years from now, that is going to potentially translate into generational wealth for our families to come. So going to end it there, let me know your thoughts and comments on this news and uh, we'll end it there. Thanks again for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth. It's Rob with Power Group and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.